Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, and Yozori. Hey there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for New England. Well, you know, we got a lot going on once again this week here in New England. And as you will see, I've got the first subscriber video contributor of the season joining up this week. Uh, just like last year, if you have any interest in doing this, for the, uh, submitting video uh, uh, reports every week, or obviously photos and just your general reports, shoot me an email at tlipinski at thefisherman.com and uh, we can get you started, show you all the details, let you know what you need. Really simple to do, especially the videos. I mean, as long as you've got a, a smartphone, you are good to go. All right, so I'm going to start off this week's report with some freshwater action as uh, TJ Bersak sent me some great pictures of his son, Jackson, who has been absolutely hammering the trout in Connecticut lately. For instance, just in the last week, he's caught brook, brown, rainbow, and even golden trout at several spots in the Milford, New Haven area. Big congrats to you, Jackson. Look forward to seeing more pictures of your catches throughout the season. And switching over from the freshwater side of things uh, over to the salt. Fishing really broke wide open on pretty much everything this week. Um, starting off with striped bass, as I haven't had a whole lot really to report last few weeks. We're making up for it this week. As let's see, starting off, James LeDuc sent me pictures of a 29 inch striper that he caught earlier this week while fishing down at Charleston Breachway. I uh, received some pretty good reports on striped bass to uh, like 32 to maybe 34 inches or so in, in South County, really from the Pocketuck River all the way down through the beaches and up over to about Point Judith or so, all the usual early season spots. Then switching gears over on to the east side of the bay, subscriber TJ Kopecki checks in this week with our first video report of the year. Thanks, Toby. Hey guys, despite all the crappy weather we've had this week with the rain, the downpours, whatnot, the fishing's actually been really hot in the Warren and Barrington rivers. I went out on Thursday night to fish probably for two hours between 8 and 9.30 and uh, we boasted about 20 to 30 micro bass. Nothing really for size, but those big ones are coming. As I watched the pogies and even squid swim around the bridges I was fishing, it's just all a good sign that big fish are to come. I also talked to another couple of guys that were fishing during the day on these bridges and they said the tog bite was excellent and they were just dipping crabs down with a jig. So tight lines everybody, get out there and get fishing. All right, awesome. Thank you very much, TJ. Again, as I noted earlier, if you want to contribute to these weekly videos, uh, you shoot me an email, tlipinski at thefisherman.com, get you started. You can submit photos, videos, as TJ just did. Real simple process, so hit me up if you'd like to get started. And then just north of TJ, heard from Josh <coughs> Gonsalves this week, sent me an email. He reported finding acres of bass to about 29 inches while he was out on Saturday, but unfortunately, the, he said the bass were super picky, but he managed to temp a few of them uh, to, to about 29 inches was the top end that he was able to get before switching gears to bottom fish, where he loaded up on some nice 12 to 15 inch scup, as well as tog to eight pounds. Then he went back out, get more of those tog on Sunday, fishing off of Westport and put together a two man limit. He said in about 40 minutes of fishing. Last up he noted there was about 55 degree water temperatures in upper Buzzards Bay, but he only found about 50 degrees or so once he moved down to lower bay spots. And moving up on the Cape, heard from Fisherman subscriber Justin Cooper. He said he took a road trip from his home in Maine down to the Cape over the weekend. Found a really good bite of some fresh uh, striped bass, excuse me, all of which were covered in sea lice. Uh, and another thing to note in that area, the squid boats off the south side of the Cape have been doing really well over the last few days. Uh, heard a couple rumblings of a bluefish here and there, but if that bite is going to kick into gear this spring, it is going to happen now with those squid moving through as that's often the trigger. And changing over from striped bass to flounder, the fishing finally improved a little bit this week around Boston. Alan Sheriff boated his first flounder of the season while fishing with Captain Jason Colby, Colby excuse me, on a cold, windy trip Tuesday morning. Guys said that the bite uh, is still a bit behind where it should be for this time of year, where they would hope it would be, but there are fish to be caught to f despite some hefty, hefty pressure from the draggers as they got a few fish with dragger marks on them. 
Speaking of flounder, remember that the 11th annual Zobo Flounder Derby, which is hosted by our friends at Fishing Fanatics in Everett, is set for May 18th. You can get all the details on this tournament as well as any other tournaments and events going on right now at thefisherman.com. And then last up this week, Haddock Bite has been getting a little better each day up in the Gulf of Maine. Heard from my friend Captain Tony Garino. He runs booked off charters down in Rhode Island, but he took a ride up to Green Harbor over the weekend to fish with a couple of his buddies. Said they, uh, they, they worked hard to put together a three-man limit of haddock on the trip, but that was not the highlight. It was when Chris hooked into something very heavy. Said he took about 10 minutes or so to get the thing up off the bottom, and then after about 30-minute battle, they brought it up to the surface. It turned out to be an 80-pound halibut, the first one of which I've heard about this season. So congrats to Chris on the awesome catch, and hopefully we hear some more halibut coming up this season. All right, well, there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines if you head out onto the water this weekend. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evan Rood, Lawrence Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2019 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details now at thefisherman.com.